Hi, my name's Mark Hall and I'm a senior lecturer here at the University of Derby and today I'm going to be showing you how to use this bad boy. This is the um, a Worcester Technical camera and it's in common use here at the University of Derby. You can see here I've already fitted the, um, the tripod plate with the lens the pointing towards the, the top here which is where the lens will be. And that is secured on top of the tripod, like so. Before I let it go, I'm going to make sure that that's secure. I've also, by now, I've levelled the tripod, which is important when you come to uh, setting your movements. You want to make sure that everything's level to begin with. Then what I do is to just loosen these two screws. They shouldn't be overly tightened and you should never overly tighten these because you can break the, the, uh, the screws inside. So they should be just loose, just finger tight. So undo those. And then at the front here, you will see this latch. If I just press that, it just pushes in and the camera comes up like so. Then these screws at the bottom here, I just tighten those finger tight on both sides. And that way then the camera is ready to, to be opened. Here, there's these two, um, these two levers here, uh, crimp those in towards the center and then pull the, the lens panel out to it stops at the front here. Then if you notice that um, I've always store, I always store my lens. Uh, this is a 150 lens. This is a Schneider 150 lens. This is stored in a Worcester panel inside like so back to front so that it fits nicely inside inside the bellows when it folds up into the uh, into the base. So I turn that around, I take that out, turn that around, putting it into these two notches at the bottom there, making sure that seats so securely into there, push that in and then uh, drop that catch down. So that now, before I let go of it, I'm just make sure that that's nice and tight. So that's our lens in the panel. Um, the next thing I need to do is to screw in my cable release. The cable release goes into this screw thread there. So I just generally locate that in and again, not trying to tighten that too much. Just screw that in. Okay, so that's in there. Now, in order to see through the back of the camera, I will need to um, cock the shutter. And open it up. So, we have it like so. Okay, so we're ready for viewing. This one actually is, um, is a slightly different uh, Slightly different. This is a Synchro Compur shutter as opposed to um, a Copal shutter. Copal shutters have um, a different mechanism on here. This one has a, this is a Synchro Compur and has a lever at the bottom there to open the lens for viewing. So there we have it. We're ready to, uh, we're ready to start taking our photographs.